I'm going to shoot this 1911. It's a Desert Eagle that I bought maybe 10 years ago. Three or four years ago I put a cart barrel in it and fit it, but I fit it a little too tight so I didn't shoot it too much. And this week I took it apart and loosened up the fit a little bit. And I may have to make a sight adjustment or two. I'm also only going to load five rounds at a time. So I'll be out here a while. So here's the first five. Okay. I'm going to take a look at that. See where those are. I guess I did okay. I can see one in the black, maybe two, but there's no low and there's no left. So I think that's okay for right now. I think I'm just going to keep shooting. Last five, target one. Okay, that's 20 rounds, target one. So if anything, they're grouped a little, a little left, but there seems to be a pretty equal bias. And then I had two shots that I just let go. Let's just shoot 10. And go home. Target three, first five. I don't know. No. I'm having trouble predicting when the trigger's gonna to go off. That was good. Ah. Uh, Okay, second five, target three. Left. No. Relax. Okay, that's enough. That is enough. I'm falling apart. Well, that's about right. Five ten ring hits, and then one, two, three, four. Two bad shots. This is what happens when I get too many rounds. Two bad shots, two not so bad here, one a little wide, and then half of them are 10 ring hits. That means I was learning the trigger, but getting fatigued. That's the way it goes. The gun itself is perfect. Me and my trigger control, not so hot.